This installation video is applicable for AFL's Splice-On SC and LC Fuse Connect connectors on 2 and 3 mm diameter simplex cable. These step-by-step -step instructions demonstrate the termination of a 3 mm SC Fuse Connect connector using a Fujikura 70S Fusion Splicer. The SC Fuse Connect connector includes the following materials, a boot unit, a protective sleeve, a ferrule unit, a connector body, connector housing, and a dust cap. Always wear safety glasses and properly dispose of fiber shards when handling and cleaving optical fibers. Begin by placing the cable into the 3 mm cable clamp approximately 10 inches from the end of the cable and engage the clamp. Slide the boot unit and the protective sleeve onto the cable. Using the template on the front of the connector packaging, mark the cable at 35 mm from the end of the cable. Strip 35 mm of 3 mm jacket from the cable, exposing the Kevlar and 900 micron fiber. Cut the Kevlar to a length of precisely 23 mm. Using the template on the front of the connector packaging, mark the fiber at 32 mm from the end of the 900 micron fiber. Strip 32 mm of 900 micron and 250 micron coating off, exposing the bare fiber. Clean the fiber with a lint-free wipe and fiber preparation fluid. Place the fiber into the 3 mm fiber holder with the end of the 900 micron coating at the end of the fiber holder. Close the fiber holder clamp. Load the fiber holder into a precision cleaver and cleave the fiber. Carefully remove the fiber holder with the cleave fiber end from the precision cleaver. Load the fiber holder into the left side of the fusion splicer. Load the ferrule unit into the right side of the fusion splicer and close the wind protector. Splice the fiber to the fuse connect connector. Open the fiber holder and the ferrule unit holder clamps after the splicer has performed a tension test on the splice. Continue to keep tension on the splice while removing it from the fusion splicer. Slide the protective sleeve over the splice so that it is flush with the ferrule unit. Position the sleeve in the center of the heater while continuing to maintain contact with the ferrule. Heat the protective sleeve. Allow the sleeve to cool before removing it from the heater. Hold the base of the ferrule unit and remove the transfer tubing. Slide the boot unit up to the ferrule. Slide the connector body onto the connector ferrule. Align the opening in the body and the key on the boot. Push until a click is heard. Slide the connector housing onto the connector body. The key on the housing and the key on the boot should align. Push until a click is heard. Apply the dust cap and remove the cable clamp. The termination is now complete.